Hello Year 8, welcome back to your music lessons. This is Lesson 8 on Melody and Notation. As usual, before we get started, if you're looking for any of the previous videos on these lessons, they can be found on YouTube. Uh, if you look at the top box of this slide, there is a link. If you copy and paste that link, it will lead you to a playlist on YouTube. On that playlist has all my videos, which you can look at and look back on so you can make sure to revise anything that you feel like you don't have a proper understanding on as having an understanding uh, will help you in completing this lesson and in lessons in the future for today's lesson the lesson objective is to understand how to create melodies on the stave so we've looked into melodies we've looked into how to use the stave we know how to put uh, notes and dots on the stave to create different pitches but now we want to get a better idea of how to create an actual melody on the stave and how to write it down so it's so we can memorize it or we can read someone else's melody that they've created. So at the very least today, the red box on the left, I am able to create an original four pulse rhythm using the correct rhythmic symbols. So uh, we've looked into creating rhythms before. We did it in year seven. We did it uh, earlier in this half term. Uh, so I want you to start off by creating a four pulse rhythm. Once you've done that, we move on to the yellow box. I'm able to add my rhythm to the stave, moving the rhythmic symbol on the stave to change the pitch. So uh, we know how to move the dots up and down the stave. So you'll be doing something along those lines with the rhythm, with the rhythm that you've created to change the pitch. And then, and that will create a melody. Once you're able to do that, uh, you are going to show your understanding of what you've created by showing that you can identify the notes of your melody by writing them beneath the stave. So I'll show you how I've done that. So that's to show your understanding of the notes that you've written along with the rhythm that you created. So uh, task one, creating a melody rhythm. So task one, create a four pulse rhythm using crotchets and quavers. So we remember crotchets are T and quavers are coffee. And you can combine those together to create a rhythm. I have created mine as an example below. Yours must be a different rhythm. So here we've got T, T, coffee, coffee. That is four pulses. T, T, coffee, coffee. One, two, three, four. And we can clap that rhythm out, which will make it like this. One, two, three, four. T, T, coffee, coffee. Please make sure to write out the actual rhythmic symbols as well. So instead of just writing the words T and coffee, I'm looking for the dots with the lines and how they're all connected and everything like that. So here I've got T, T, coffee, coffee, and that's my rhythm. So it's an interesting rhythm, but it's not very interesting if we're going to use one pitch for it, if we only use one note the whole time. So we want to think about how to make it a bit more interesting by adding pitch. And this is where the stave comes into uh, use. So creating a melody, pitch. So first things first, for task two, I would like you to draw the stave and treble clef, as you can see below and as you've done before. Once you've done that, I'd like to add your four pulse rhythm uh, that you've created onto the stave. So you can see I've still got my four pulse rhythm there, T, T, coffee, coffee and I have added it to the stave. However, as you can see here, you should move the dots of the rhythmic symbols to change the notes. This will create a melody. So you can see I've still got the lines coming off the dots which show me my rhythm, T, T, coffee, coffee, but I've moved the dots up and down to note the different pitches on the stave. So you can see the first note, it's T, because it's, uh, it's a crotchet, but I've put the dot in between the second line up, the second space up, which gives us an A. The next one's a B, then I've got an E, then D, then C, and then B again. So A, B, E, D, C, and B. But now we've also got the rhythm with this as well, which is T, T, coffee, coffee. So here, here's just the notes without the rhythm. We want to add that rhythm, T, T, coffee, coffee. So here it is with the rhythm. 
And then we can repeat that or we can use other notes to come in to create more of an interesting melody. But we're going to start off with just this one. Coffee, coffee, tea, tea, coffee, coffee. And this is the beginnings of a melody. Underneath this, we can add other notes to create a, a actual song. So you can hear, listen now, you can hear the melody that I'm using, melody that I've written out in an actual song. So you can hear there, the song had other melodies, other ideas in it. I used my left hand to play notes underneath, but you can hear there, there was that melody. T, T, coffee, coffee, A, B, E, D, C, B. That melody is still there, and we've created that melody, and we've written it down. So that's what I'd like you to try and attempt to do in creating your thing. And next week, when we're all back at school, we can start looking at melodies that people have created and we can start playing them and making songs out of them. So please create these and get them uploaded to class charts. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you're all well.